also the Impact Arena, our home for three consecutive weeks. Yonex Thailand Open last week, Toyota Thailand Open this week, and then the postponed 2020 HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. So, so much to look forward to with the return of World Badminton. So that is terribly sad, isn't it? 24 minutes into the match and the birthday girl, Sara Tursen, forced to retire with an eye injury. That's not the way to celebrate your 30th birthday. And we certainly wish her well and a speedy recovery, but it did look very nasty indeed. Well, next up is men's singles and Lo Kien Yu from Singapore up against Kunlavut Vitisan, the three-time and reigning world junior champion. Well, this is the third section of the draw, third quarter. And Pranoy has come through a magnificent match against Jonathan Christie, 23-21 in the deciding game but there was sad news first thing this morning because Sai Pranith we all undertook yet another Covid test a couple of days ago and there was news that Sai Pranith had tested positive and his roommate Kidambi Shrikanth uh, therefore has to self-isolate and Kidambi who won a super match yesterday against Thomasin uh, was due to play Anna's Antonsen, the World Championship silver medalist from Basel in 2019. So Antonsen, who lost first round last week, has got a walkover into the quarter-final stage. And there's been a real battle. There is a real battle at the top of the World Tour standings as to who qualifies for the next week's World Tour finals with the three Danes. There's no question Victor Axelsson has qualified, but at the moment, Danes are one, two and three on that qualifying list. But you're only allowed two players at the World Tour finals. And therefore, it uh, really is developing into a battle between Gemka and Antonsen. And if Gempko wins his next match against Samir Verma, then, of course, the two Danes will play each other in the quarterfinal stage. And I haven't worked it out yet, but it could be uh, that that's a straight playoff. Uh, it's a straight playoff. It's very, very few points between them. Yeah. Well, this was the tragic moment when Tuerson, celebrating her 30th birthday, will have a birthday to remember for all the wrong reasons. shuttle in the eye and I can assure you it's not a pleasant experience now it can really knock you out yeah and if you're very unlucky it of course uh, can trouble your eyesight yes indeed so that's very nasty indeed but seven seeds in the men's singles draw because we lost Kento Mamota the number one seed before the tournament got underway because when he was about to leave Narita Airport in Tokyo, he tested positive and therefore the whole Japanese team had to pull out. So that was very sad for the entire tournament. But here come the players. This is the reigning world junior champion, Kunlavut Viti Sun. Three times world junior champion. The first men's singles player ever to win three consecutive titles at the World Junior Championships. But the third player in total to do so. So you can think about that, Morton, because I'll be testing you on who the other two were. I know one. Yeah. Brachinog. Yeah. And then it's, I think it's a men's doubles. No, not no. quite. Well, this is the second meeting, as you saw, between yeah. these two players. The only previous time they met was in 2015 at the Thailand International Challenger event. It was three games. But when you consider that was five and a half years ago, and 
Kulavut with Tisan. Uh, was is only 19 now, so five and a half years ago. He was very young indeed. So I don't think we can read too much into no, the previous. That's too long, too long test. time ago. <laughs> no. But as we go along a little bit later, I have a quest question for you. Fantastic! I have Good. worked very hard, but you just carry on. Okay, so here's the Singaporean, Loki Yu, 23 years of age, born in Penang in Malaysia. Gained Singapore citizenship in February 2015 after he moved to Singapore when he was 13 years old under a sports scholarship had been part of the Malaysian squad but as you can see he's been as high as 27 he's 11 places down from that at the moment last week he lost in the first round to the number six seed Jonathan Christie who then lost in the quarter final to Victor Axelson so to the reigning world junior champion Kun Lavut Witi Sun 19 years of age born in Chonbori in City of Water did spend three weeks as 28 in the world but the week after the All England Championships his ranking went down to 29 one place down first played here in the Thailand Open as a 16 year old in 2017 as we look at our court officials for this Morton have you remembered who the only other player to win three consecutive World Junior Championships if it's not men's doubles or boys doubles it's women's doubles no I thought about Chen Jing Chen you're right but it was mixed doubles she won three consecutive <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Very good try, Morton. But I'm not giving you your point. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I should just shut my mouth and say, chin, chin, chin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And not say women's doubles. You're right. Right player, wrong discipline. Yes. That's very good. Very good deduction. But it is interesting extraordinary to win three consecutive world junior titles in men's singles because you know physically 15 year old when he yeah. first won yeah the f pure physicality of it yeah exactly <coughs> ladies and gentlemen on my right low can you sing up and my left with his sons Thailand. Low can you say love all play? So low can you from Singapore getting this match underway. And we really ought to mention his best result was here in Thailand, but at the Thailand Masters of 2019. One love came through the qualifying and then beat Lin Dan in the final. In fact, five finals in 2019 for the Singaporean. But here in Thailand was his only victory in finals. David Thomas, one of. So, Morton, what makes Witi Sun so special? He's got a wonderful technique, he's fast. He's moving well on court, um, but he's got a lot of trick so shots up his sleeve, and uh, he's he's very tricky from the front court. Yeah, like that one. Yeah, um, but and he he can develop into a very very good player Two, in the future, one. and it prove it can be a very good relationship with uh, Wang Chiron as well from uh, Thailand you know they can work together yes and they can sort of spar against one another and and bring one another up and I think it's it's really great that Thailand is having these two players Three, amongst many others one. but yeah. uh, have to be said
Four, one. Yeah, that's gone wide. Seven over. Two, four. Long on the back line. Three, I think we're four. in for a treat here. So do I. I think it can be a develop into a very nice match. We should also mention that Kulavut has been in a HSBC BWF World Tour final already. That was last year. The Spain Masters. 300 event, he lost out to Victor Axelsson in the final. Uh, look again, yeah, nice skills at the net. Great net shot. Yeah. I think he looks a bit fitter than the last time I saw him. Kuhn Lavut. Yeah, he, he is also developing his uh, his physical skills. You can you can see. I agree with you. He looks stronger. Yeah. And also, in terms of playing style, he's not Five, taking the same four. chances um, as what he did earlier. Because when you're not physically absolutely on top of, it, of your game, you t tend to take more chances. Yeah. And uh, here, I think he's more comfortable in his physical ability, which means that he's not taking the same kind of chances, but he's still got the ability. Yeah. I think with the Singapore players and especially with Lo Kin Yu, I think that there's been a big improvement since Mulyo Handoyo went to coach in Singapore. Yeah, also Yo Jamin have benefited from it in, yeah. the, in the women's singles. Two young players coming up in the two singles is uh, very good, very good for Singapore. Oh, that's bad luck. Save it all. Five, so seven. you have mentioned that uh, Ken Yu is from Penang and he beat Lin Dan. Yep. Two other players from Penang has beaten Lin Dan. Right. One is, of course, Li Chong Wei. Beat uh, yeah. Lin Dan 12 times. Eight, but one five. other player has beaten Lin Dan who comes from Penang. From Penang. Mm, give me a moment to think about it. That's why I mention it now. I give you time. I, I know it's a tough, tough, tough one. Uh, but I've been working so hard to find something that you <laughs> might not know. <laughs> so are we talking uh, some time ago? Yes. In fairness, yes. Nine, five. It was actually twice. And it was back in 2001 and 2002. Crikey. Seven, go. Six, nine.
Uh, that's just out. Bad lock for Vitisan. Takes a lot of patience to to really work down. Can you? You really have to have that patience because a lot is coming back. Uh, very yeah. quick. Very, very, very quick, quick forward. And a five six, point seven, advantage seven. at the mid game interval for Lokin Yu. And the home player in a spot of bother here at the moment. It is good pace by the Singaporean, isn't it? Yeah, it was well spotted by Singapore offering uh, Lokin Yu a place in uh, Singapore Sports School that many years ago yeah eight minutes into the match so morton i'm going to have to give up i think you've stumped me on this one <laughs> i'm so happy i win one <laughs> yeah it's actually on you hock on you hock yeah on you hock who is malaysia number one in the yeah, yeah. early yeah 2000 and I uh, didn't know he was from Penang. He's, he's from Penang. Yes. Eleven, right. Six. I feel so much better. <laughs> 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 now I, I grant you, it was virtually impossible. Seven, it was an impossibility seven, to know. Eleven. The ones you're giving me are much, much nicer. <laughs> you and just still, wait. And you just wait. And still, I don't know them. <laughs> oh. That must have been the shuttle oh, that touched the net. Yeah. Because huge wobble of the net. Seven. Big miss, I would say. Yeah, Big absolutely. Miss. I'll give you a little bit more fun fact on Lu Ken Yu. Yeah, go on. And that's just fun fact. In the Malaysian under 12 nationals, yeah. he beat Lee Si Cha. Really? Yeah. Yeah, didn't miss that Seven one. Eight, twelve. Oh. Yeah, that's good pace. Seven it is, isn't it? 13, and good eight. variation using the body smash. But he did play a good match, I think, last week against Christie. Yeah, that's... He's quick onto the shot in the first place, Four isn't it? Is. It's not just Eight. his smash is quick. No, his feet are very, very quick. Fifty-eight. David Thomas, 9-15. Oh, that was an opportunity missed. 10-15. Oh. 
<laughs> Stay with Dogen. 16, 10. On court three, men's single. Brace Lebanese from France. Oh, he's done it again. Good use of the body smash. Oh, and again. Yeah, I he's think he's got to change that return of serve. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why is he still playing that return? Makes no sense. Oh, good defence. And he's still persisting with the lift to the deep forehand corner of looking you. Yeah, but this is okay. They're high enough and uh, look and you haven't got the same power from deep the court but uh, when there's more of these flat lifts then uh, it's got to be Seven very score. careful and watch out 11 18 Longest rally so far. Seventh over. Nineteen, eleven. You know, Vidi San really have to try to find a little bit more patience. play with good length make sure that when uh, low is attacking is from the very back of the court like this Played very, very well in this opening point. game as 11. this man. And he's got nine game point opportunities. Yeah, oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Save it over. 12, 20. Thirteen, twenty. That was a nice one. Force the error. Yeah, and I, I think the 14, the good thing is that Vida San is playing with such good length at the moment, and the hesitation on the back line really uh, made a difference. Logan Yu was sort of hesitating. Oh, that was a good chance. Yeah. Okay, he got away with it. First game, Mumbai. 21 14, opening game. From Indonesia. Yeah. Could have killed it, couldn't he? 
Service Jump, Mani Chao from Thailand. So, looking very sharp in the opening game, looking new. Okay. Okay. So time for the World Junior Champion, Kun Lavut Vitazan. Yeah, he's got to find some answers. Yeah. Second game. How does he do that, Morton? Long arm. Um, I think his attack can have a little bit more sting from this side, uh, playing with a drift. Um, yeah. So I think uh, the the key is probably attack. But the net play has to be perfect. Good power. It's cool, good. Save it One, all. I think that was close going out. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, it is close. Yeah. Well, he was right there. He knows he can challenge. I think that look and you was indicating he's got to be careful because it's difficult against the drift to play these defensive shots back to the back line. They have a tendency to become too short. Well, there's already signs that Kunlavut is desperately trying to take the shuttle a lot earlier, play more aggressively. Oh, oh that's well taken, wasn't it? Yeah, but the Four, drop one. shot from Lo can you was simply just too high. Try to look at this one. This one here. Uh, very, very high. Yeah. But don't you like that kill where he brushes across it on I, the back? I, of I like the kill. There's nothing yeah. wrong with the kill. The kill is perfect. But the uh, the shot from uh, the Singaporean was uh, not good enough. Uh, simply not good enough. Tight at the net. Yeah. Lovely drop. Yeah. 
and I think that's excellent variation. Seen a few times where Ken Yu is really going for the big smash down the line in this situation. This time, the uh, drop shot is coming. Save it up. Five, two. Lovely, isn't that? Six, two. Yeah, you sense the momentum is shifting. Yeah. And you sense that it's well earned too because he's dictating the pace more now, isn't he? He is. Thailand player. Seven, two. Eight, two. Is it purely the change of ends that is enabling the player from the far side to play the faster game because they're hitting with the drift no i i don't think so i i actually think that the Loki and you has has lost to some confidence here no uh, suddenly uh, you know when you are perhaps not that experienced and you go on court and you play and then suddenly something is going against you then you you tense up and suddenly it's not working the way you want it and that's what make the good players good because it's not happening to them yeah but here he's playing a perfect opening game Seven and then goal. suddenly um, his defense is non-existent Nine. yeah Go. Good aggression. Yeah. And what a three. contrast Inter to the opening game as Kun Lavut with a son. But this is a mistake from uh, Ken Yu. This one here, trying to get it to the back line, is simply a mistake. Can't force it that long. Got to play a block shot. Well, it's a handsome eight point lead for this young man. <laughs> ดึงได้ดึงได้แต่ไม่ใช่แบบว่าจะดึงคือดึงแล้วช้าไม่ดึงว่าเข้าไหนดิ
Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Eleven, three. Play. So if it continues like this, we will be treated to a third and deciding game. What? Yeah, I think we will. It's um, it's a big catch up to to do for the Singaporean. Well, as soon as you said that, Morton, I had a flashback Five, to the men's 11. doubles we watched earlier when yeah, the English yeah, pair were 10-1 ten ten, up, ten against, up yes. against world champions, Hassan and Setiawan. And what happened? They lost it. Yep. So you just never know. No, you never know. But as I say, this Easier is... Easier to win quick points in doubles, though, it should be said. Yeah, and, and we have two players here of very similar standard. So if one is having such a big lead, they should be able to hang on to it. Oh. Six, eleven. Oh, that's Go. a brilliant shot. It is. From Loki New. Seven, eleven. So that's four points in a row, isn't it? Yeah. Well, he'll be mighty relieved to bring that run of four Seven. points. World junior champion. It's the right shot to play, I think, from Bidi Sun. Six of the last seven points since the mid-game interval. 
this shot here is a nice shot the idea is good but it's uh, out on both accounts running in this second game without any shadow of a doubt. Could be an important rally too. Yeah. I think it's important to win this one. See, if I was low, can you? I wouldn't have done that. He's uh, at the moment, while we're watching these pictures, uh, toweling down, winning such an important point as what he did here is sending a strong psychological signal to his opponent, mm -hmm. and he should make full use of it and not walk out and towel down and all that says, no, I'm strong enough, I'm fit enough, I can stand this, here we go. Yeah. But he sent a signal saying, oh, I needed a break. Mm. The psychology of sport. <laughs> once again trying to get this lift deep in court and once again failing to do so. Must have been the previous rally, 54, uh, 53 shots. Certainly wasn't that last rally. Oh, that's nice. That is a very, very nice shot from Vidi Sun. How oh, he's getting that, keeping that in. That is excellent technique. It's going yeah. almost like a curve. You know, since that long rally, since that 53 shot okay. rally, yes, he's gone. Yeah, Loki knew. Yes, agree with you. Hesitation there from the tie player. He was going to leave it initially, then decided to play it. By which time? I try to look at the speed from Loki and you. Very, very quick.
12, 16. It's good quality badminton between these two young players. No! Oh, it was the right idea to Carefully. try and block across court, but also the difficult option. Yeah, I think Loki New has got second wind here he seemed to really struggle for th three rallies or so after that really long rally didn't he yes he did Go! so four straight points 14, and now just two points in it it's believable definitely Definitely. And when you think that he was eight points adrift at the mid-game interval, he's done well. It's a tall order from here, isn't it? I it thought is. when he got back to 14, 16. Yeah, it was important for him to win that yeah. point, but he didn't. And I missed one there. Seven, 19, that was 15. a golden opportunity for Loki and you. Yeah, considering how calm and cool he played the opening game, I think a lot of mistakes has uh, sort of crept into his game here, second time round. Go! Go! David Thomas, 16, 19. With that winning smash 15, across court, game point, uh, now has game point opportunities. Yeah. <coughs> Guessing correctly, Loki and you.
and has gone long okay. and it is the Take second game, game, game to Kunavut Vitizan one game all confirms the umpire 21-16 that second game in favour of the world junior champion Forty three minutes into the match. เรื่องเนี้ยเวลาอยู่อยู่ออกรู้ไปเถอะแต่ข้างหลังเค้าบินเซฟนะเค้าบินเซฟนะเนี่ยเมื่อกี้ที่ <coughs> 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 ไม่ให้พอตีข้างหลังเสร็จวิ่งไปบีบข้างหน้าแล้วก็ออกข้างข้างเอื้อมเอื้อมตลอดแล้วเสียเปลือกแล้วฟังได้ไหมเข้าห
Davis, Davis, Davis. That's a nice Four. angle, though, isn't it? Two. Was it this match you said you were cross at yourself no. for not paying attention for who won the toss? No, it was the women's no. doubles. It was the women's doubles, yes. <laughs> I was very crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Oof! I would have been tempted Second to goal. challenge that. <laughs> Three, I think four. it's out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, it was clearly out. Ow. Four all. Oh. Yeah, that's quick. That's very quick. Yeah, you said right at the start Five. of the match the, how Four. good he was at the front of the court. I like the way that he's sort of waiting to close that net down and just yeah. waiting for it. That's really well played. Hovering. Hovering, that's the word. Waiting to pounce. <laughs> Six, four, go. Yeah, another one drifts just long. Seven. This four, is five straight points. wide that's long as that's well long yeah six straight Eight, points four. I think my suspicion about fatigue with Loki new may well be right Oh, very almost nice. got it. Almost got Thank the new board. Five, eight. Well, that was important for Loki New to stop that run. It was. Nine four wouldn't have been good.
that's Missed out. It. Yeah. David I think we're both feeling the pace Six, now. Nine. Yeah, 53 minutes this match has been in progress. But I think Vitisan is looking good. And he will get on to the other side shortly. And having scored at least nine points one, one, on what would possibly Even considered the bad side. Exactly. Yeah. And make that ten points now. Yeah. Seven stops. Ten. Six. Wahyana from Indonesia. Sylvester. Emmanuel Kabuisle from Botswana. Oh, oh yes, that's lovely. Yeah. Seven very, goal. very sharp. Seven. Ten. I concur with you, Joe, that both the players are getting Lower. very tired and the big smashes is kind of over now. It's yeah. moving the opponent around, waiting for these sharper shots and possibly the net play and so on to be the deciding factor. I don't think it's going to be the big power smashes anymore. Go! Eight, ten. Yeah, it's gone long. So it's the three-point advantage Eight. for Kun Lavat with T Sun. Here in the deciding game as the players change ends. <laughs> yeah, that's well long. My goodness me. Badminton terms, that's not even close. What has he got left? Yeah, it's going to be interesting Eleven, to see. Eight. And if they're Eleven. both fatigued, Morton. I think the Thai player has got a bit more bread and butter in his legs yeah. than uh, the Singaporean. I think he can kind of eat himself a bit more. If, you know, it was really going to get tough. Yeah. Well, All players are having uh, different thresholds. And I just think that the Thai player has got that little bit more. Thank you. I want to do this. Mm. From in front of his home. Fans on television, there's nobody here in the arena. like that and once again it's way out isn't it yeah Good 
defense. good defensive work. Yeah. But I just sense this is the decisive move 14, now. 8. Yeah, huge gap down that backhand side. I guess right on the first one down his forehand though, didn't he? He did. But the six point advantage restored. I say restored, I'm thinking of the six consecutive points from 2 4 down to 8 4 up. Yeah. I don't think he's had a six point advantage, has he? Um, no, he hasn't. No, but... Before now, that is. He had it in the second game. Yeah. I think it was 11-3, wasn't it, at the mid-game? Yes. Oh, oh mamma mia. That's a pity. 15, and that was definitely fatigue, in my opinion. Yeah, he's take, taking the chance. He, he feel this is a half chance, and it probably is. But uh, under the present circumstances, this is possibly not the shot to try. No, he didn't get there. Simply didn't get there quickly enough. Wasn't committed enough going forward. was way too loose. And it's testing both players to be able to play quality shots even in long rallies and after such a, a long match just passing the 60 minutes. Simply too many mistakes now from the Singaporean. surely it's a mountain to climb from here and I can't see it happening no I agree with you Here we saw one of the trick shots from Vidison. Yeah. It's an excellent shot. Yeah. Perfection.
two points away from victory in this hard fought match. It's inevitable. Oh, that was a miss. <laughs> Two very talented youngsters, though, isn't it? It's good to see. I think it's been a very entertaining match. Yeah. I think lots of good bands and. Good pace, good details. This should be it. Yeah, too short. So match point opportunities. Ten of them. As the match clock just sticks over the hour and five minute mark. on his first opportunity. 21-10 in the deciding game. Kunlavut Witizan is the final rally. Yeah. Shuttle deflected by the net court. Yeah, but very aware, <laughs> even at this late stage in the match, how quickly he reacted to it. Yeah. It was actually more difficult than it looked because that shuttle was yeah. spinning ferociously. So confirmation of the scoreline coming from a game down 14-21, 21-16, 21-10 in the deciding game. So, as far as Kun Lavut is concerned, lives to fight another day. Possible opponent, Victor Axelson. Possible, not played yet. So, let's recap on today, which started at 9 o'clock this morning. And it all started with Unkar Long, two-time beaten finalist at the Thailand Open. Uh, coming through in two straight games against the World Championship bronze medalist from 2019, Wang Chalon. Then it was mixed doubles and a surprise win for John Colt and Person Pan. And that was three games, just shy of the hour mark. Then it was women's singles and Anse Young uh, beating Chai Wan in two straight games. Then it was uh, men's doubles and a wonderful win for Fiktri. And Muliana beating the 2016 All England champions and beating finalists here in 2013, Ivanov and Sozanov. Then it was women's doubles and Melund and Oran winning in two straight games. Then it was men's singles and Cho Tien Chen, the winner of the Thailand Open in 2019, just far too good for a Wee Hing Sonon of Thailand 21-4 that second game then it was men's doubles and despite a 10-1 lead in the opening game Ellis and Langridge squandered two uh, game points in game number one as well before Asan and Setia won, won that encounter 23-21 21-15 then it was women's singles and Carolina Marin uh, started this week as she finished last week in tremendous form. Same opponent as a week ago. 
They're coming through against the French player 21-18 in the second game. Then it was women's doubles and Sarah Tuerson was celebrating her 30th birthday today and it's a birthday she'll remember for all the wrong reasons because she got a shuttle in the eye when uh, she and her partner Frugal were trailing 16-19 in the opening game. So the number four seeds, Kim and Kong, are through that because uh, she sadly, Tuerson, had to retire. And uh, then in our last match of day two of competition, Kun Lavut Vidusoan uh, coming through against Loki Yu of Singapore in three games. An hour and five minutes for that one. 21-10 in the deciding game. So second round action tomorrow, same time as today. That's 9 a.m. local time, 0200 GMT. So from all of us here, especially from Morton Frost and myself, Jill Clark, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.